What's up, Kobe Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. Uh, we do that by talking about awesome books, powerful books, life-changing, unforgettable books. And that's what we're doing today. We're talking about Kwame Alexander's The Door of No Return. This book takes place in 1860 in what is now modern day Ghana. I started reading this book Saturday. Got, just, got, just got a little taste before I fell asleep. Uh, and then took it to the park Sunday where my kids were playing. Really got into it um, and then found myself reading it way past my bedtime uh, to the point where I was gonna get no, like four hours of sleep. But then I had to stop, I just couldn't read anymore. I just I just needed, a, I needed to stop, I needed a break. I was just so overwhelmed by what was happening and the story and the power and the beauty and the devastation that was just occurring um, in these words. And so I said, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna finish it the next day, I have 40 or 50 pages left. And I couldn't fall asleep. Like I could not fall asleep. I cannot remember the last time a book made me not be able to fall asleep like this. Um, I probably got two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes of sleep total. Got up at 4.01 a.m. when my alarm went off, went and did my six mile run, and then got back as quick as I can, ran a little faster than normal so I could finish this book before school. It is an amazing story about um, this boy growing up in in this village, and his grandfather is like the storyteller, and he, his brother is just this amazing kid who's also like a wrestler, and his dad uh, is involved in the gold trade, and it's, he's got like this crush. He's got this crush on this girl in class, and starting to look like he's making some like headway there like the book is just like humming along and it's so interesting he's gonna have like a swimming race with his cousin who's kind of like his rival in school and been getting along very well and i was just like so happy and then some really bad things happened um and it's while this is historical fiction obviously stories like this definitely took place during these times in Africa. And I don't know why I didn't see it coming. I don't know why I was just like naively enjoying the story and soaking up these words, but I was shook. Um, like I think readers probably should be reading this book. And it got really, really, really heavy. And it got really, really, really hard but you still couldn't stop turning pages. And when I tried to stop turning pages, I couldn't turn off my brain. Like I couldn't, my brain wouldn't, wouldn't slow down at all. Um, so I don't wanna to say too much about the story. I don't wanna to say too much about what happens, but you do need to read this book. You need to order this book. You need to share this book. You need to talk about this book with as many people as you can. Whew. I don't know what else to say. The Door of No Return by Kwame Alexander, one of the must-read books of 2022. Check it out. You won't regret it, but prepare yourself. My name is Kobe Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.